And Frank said something like how wonderful it is that anybody can make the world a better place anytime. If you wake up in the morning and you say, well, what am I supposed to do today? How can I help? Om te deel wat je hebt, je nou kan gelukkig te maken. Als je hem dan niet gelukkig zit, dan heb je het There's nothing nicer than to make people laugh. I love it. Wow, what a great thing. <laughs> to be able to do that, to be able to be of use and of service and at the same time it feels good to me to do it. Everything that goes on in this world is an opportunity for you as a human being to reflect and to then decide, am I going to be the up level? or am I going to pull it down? And I want to be an up level. I want to walk into a space and leave it better than when I arrived there as my way of helping. Everyone has something and some way of being and something to give. I have visited this year so far, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I've knitted 25 jerseys so far this year. But when the jersey's finished, then I walk around where I know there's a, a busy outlet, you know, and I'll see somebody with a baby. Do you want a jersey? Then they'll say, but I haven't got money for it. I said, no, 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 you can have it. It's for you, it's a gift. It's wonderful to be able to give something to somebody that, that nobody's given them anything really in life. And here I am giving them a jersey, a little jersey for their baby. And you make babies for kinderkies. In the end, but but you seem to be swag and hunger. So say no lives on Canada, brought and cost the fear that he come. So it's echo now. I seem to take Canada to buy a hunger and my lecker to the no lecker for the no fear of my fire, help you know, lecker to as as each of that banana is. What I do, which I love and it's kept me going and enthusiastic, I joined this group of people who think they can still sing and think they can still dance, and they're elderly. <laughs> and every week we go to a different retirement home and we entertain the oldies. Senior citizens. It's a pleasure to do. It's nice being on the stage. I'm the only one who does, what do they call me, a stand-up comedian? <laughs> I make them laugh and I can really connect with the audience, which is enriching for them and for me. You know, because I feel as if I've done something. In helping, in, in trying to be of use to this world, it brings a lot of meaning and a lot of connection. It's a way of being able to speak a language other than one that's verbal or words and say things that we may not be able to say when we speak words. In every interaction and encounter that you have, 
how do you listen to it and in some way the choice of words that you have or the action that you take is the most uplifting act. And to look for it not only in the big things, but in how I greet the person that I first see when I walk into my office. And feeling into that person going, it feels like they might be a little bit sad and maybe they need a hug. Something as simple as that. Start at home. You know, look around at your family and go, how can I help my dad? How can I help my mom? And then just grow your family, and your neighbors, and then the neighbors' neighbors, and then like the community next door yours. And, and so there's lots of opportunity to be helpful. When the reality is hard, we become pessimistic. But actually, if we believe in something positive and then it's going to be better, we will make it better because we take action to make it better. I wanted to be more useful, use my life in a valuable way. Through teaching origami, I create a bond with the children. I want them to have um, the sense of hope that they can do something with their own lives. They are part of something good, something better, something uh, valuable. When service is done well, it ends up being two people meeting and that connection becomes what helps. It's very, very difficult to explain why in words because it's a very, very palpable feeling though. You feel that you're part of something bigger. When you open up to that, then you open up to a much broader experience of, of what helping really is. What you receive is just wonderful. You don't receive it in money or in anything, just the pleasure of seeing their faces. They pull it from the lecker. I see the arms are full around them. I have stuck it. They pull it from the prayer, the others. I don't try to fix this world. If that was my mission, it would feel like what I give and do is less than a drop in the ocean of what is needed and required. But I trust that there's other people out there that are also doing. We have a tradition in Japan, when somebody is sick, we make 1,000 cranes to wish him or her well. What I've learned is that we do a bit by bit. If everybody does a little bit, we can make a difference. So not one person doing 1,000 cranes, but if 100 people, it's only 10 each. So then we can make the world better. If 1,000 people, one crane in 1,000 cranes. So that's a collective effort, and I think I believe in that. I do it because it helps. It always helps. Some way, I don't know, we child, we my little jersey tonight. Now that's what I like. The belangrijkste is the liefde that you have. You have the right liefde and your heart. It's to move from the dark to the light. Wherever I go, make it better. Every day, little by little.
to all of you who have contributed, for those of you who've shared our films, for those of you who have written our comments, this journey is just beginning. And we've put a Patreon link below our films, so if you would like to continue to support us, we'd love for you to donate below. Thanks so much.